Hey guys, how's it hanging? Charlie here, your coach of the São Paulo Syndicals for the IBL, the Indigo Battle League, coming to you guys with the week 9 against our good friend Steve, coach of the Rhode Island Reggies, and here I am with... The awesome assistant coach Simba! So how are you guys doing today? We are actually struggling to guarantee our spot in the playoffs, so it's really, really important that we take this match home and we'll see guys, we could have guaranteed our spot in the last match, but sadly, unfortunately, we lost, yeah, we, lost. <laughs> we made some unfortunate misplays, yeah, but uh, those are all in the past yeah. and this is the present, we are here with the week 9 battle against Steve, we brought some good threats on our team, we brought this, the Scarf Honchcrow to counter Ambipom, we have Metagross, we have Thunderous T that can really punch some holes in, in his squad. So we'll Garibor. see guys, let's jump right into this match. So the thing is, we predicted his team like quite right. We just thought like maybe Claydol would come instead of Regirock maybe. But it was quite the match for the team we had on paper. And we actually chose to lead off Thunderous predicting Skarmory so we could have a Volt switch off while he was trying to set up his own rocks. Yeah, but uh, that didn't happen and we had to switch because Fake Out Return kills our Thunderous yeah, like, straight and, out. And it's most likely that this Ampon is jolly and it's totally outspeeding Thunderous so there was no point switching there. Here the U-turn was quite predictable so we thought we might as well get the momentum to ourselves. So we go for a slow volt switch on Vaporeon. Volt switch. Oh, a slow <laughs> baton pass. Baton pass on Vaporeon. Oh, with Vaporeon and volt switch. That would, that be, would be awesome. That would be wild. But yeah, there's a baton pass. And Quite predictable that he went into the quarters only to it. Maybe a scald if we went for that. Here we thought he might switch because Gardevoir has energy ball. That's no secret. And we go for a Psychic, maybe predicting something else to come in, but he stays in and goes for a slow Volt switch and the momentum is back on his side, he's pretty yeah, free to go he, into Ambipom. he didn't even know that uh, Garavor gets access to Energy Ball, maybe he didn't thought we'd bring it, and he goes into his Ambipom, like free straight into Ambipom, so we have to go out into Cephalotorox once again to eat that fake out, fake out and something. Uh, maybe knockoff, maybe return. We thought the U-turn was obvious once again, so we decided to go for the safe baton pass. Well, he actually reads that very well and goes for a knockoff, which removes our lefties and Vaporeon is pretty hindered. Yeah, he's at 84 now health, so he's yeah. quite hindered down, That was kind of a bummer. So here we brought our secret weapon against the Ambipom, the, the Choice Scarf Sabrina. Uh, Brave Bird kills, Super Power kills, so we just lock ourselves into a move, but Skarmory comes in to eat the Super Power, and oh my god, so bulky. Yeah, so, so <laughs> like, bulky. that did quite a lot, but it's so fucking bulky, it can just, like, with the Rocky Helmet damage, just counter us straight up and roost, so yeah. we had to switch. It arguably was a misprep on our part, because we could have brought Heatwave on Sabrina and maybe not Scarfed her, maybe, I don't know and some other counters for his Pokemon, but that's what it is. Sabrina can't do much against the Skarmory. And here we go for Thunderous. We get a Volt Switch off on the on the Rotom Wash. Which is pretty cool because we knew that he wouldn't stay in uh, with his Skarmory in short Thunderous. So we go into Desiree because she ate that Volt Switch quite nicely. So we just go into her, we trace the levitate, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here we put a double, maybe expecting the Skarmory to come back in, and that was a misplay on our part, because he just stays in with the Rotom Wash and goes for Shadow Ball. So the overpredictings are really putting us behind in this match, because Energy Ball from Gardevoir could have picked the KO, Thunder Rose would not have taken any more residual damage from the yeah, life or Yeah, and Switch is not quite enough, if we had Thunderbolt we would have picked up the KO, but... Unfortunately, no. Yeah, we chose to pivot around with Thunderous while we should have brought a a wall breaker variant, like to yeah, true. To really pick up some kills and hence Thunderous got really hindered this match as well. We go for Gliscor trying to, uh, to get our, our Toxic Corp heal. Fearing yeah, because an he HP wouldn't stay in. He can't vote switch. So. Yeah, but fearing an HP ice, we go for Protect, which fails. 
And here comes the Red Rock, and now we're fearing an Ice Punch, because as you guys know, Gliscor takes four times damage from that. Yeah. And we can't allow Gliscor to go down that easily. And Steve reads that, he's currently reading us like so <laughs> well, and yeah. he goes for Stealth Rocks while we protect. Yeah, he already has spikes up. I think, and now he has his stealth rocks up, which is very, very important. Now, at this moment, we team. thought we have to start making some plays, so we predict him to over predict here and actually set up rocks of our own and then get a free U turn off into this big boy man, which is really slow. So we can freely go into Vaporeon and eat the incoming ice punch. Yeah, probably the ice punch. Like, okay, you set up the rocks, but now you have to go for the ice punch. Yeah, and no, we get no more very, very hindered by the, the Stealth Rocks plus spikes, but it's not quite enough you to pick up. You can see that, how, how well does Vaporeon take that hit? I mean, it's so, so much bulk, it should be illegal. <laughs> and here we get a free scout off on Regirock before he takes us out, and well, you know, we get a crit. And yeah. <laughs> that crit could have been a higher roll, though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Some hacks, Steve, just a little bit, not much. Yeah, but now we just... <laughs> he crits us back, which I don't really think would matter if we were like at 11 hit points. Yeah, I thought it could have mattered, but then Simba was so. like, no. <laughs> I don't think so. And here we go into Gardevoir, we gotta finish this Regirock off. Yeah, pretty much anything we go into will pick up the KO against it. So I think we go for a Moonblast here, I might be wrong, yeah. I'm well, we go for, a psychic, go for the Psychic, for the clean Psychic, because Regirock is so low, I mean, there's no way he's, he's taking that hit. We got another crit, which Didn't is kind of fun, but I don't really think it mattered. I mean, if crits were a thing, like like Differential is a thing for the IBL, we, we could have been in a nice spot here. So here comes the Ambipom again, it's it's Steve's win condition at this point, it's the Revenge Killer, so... Yeah, and every time he has a free switch, he he goes for the Ambipom because it outspeeds anything we have. So we are forced to go into Constantine, we get some Toxic Orb heal, and we want to scout for the Ice Punch again, so we click Protect, and right here, if I'm not mistaken, he goes for U-Turn. Yeah, so we're like, okay, maybe he doesn't have Ice he Punch. He has Ice Punch he... on Regirock, so maybe he's not bringing the double coverage. And what do you know, he played us. He forced <laughs> the protect and went for an Ice Punch. Glass we live on four. That's solid four hit points. So it, it kind of yeah, came Yeah, but now clutch. with the U-turn, it's just the fodder at this point with the Stealth Rocks and the Spikes. So that's quite unfortunate. But we go into Sabrina. That's gonna scare the Ambipon out for sure. And predicting a switch, we actually switch her out and we go into our Moonlight. Yeah, we Maybe to trap this Karmory in, so let's see if we can get this off. Yeah, at this point we're really behind this battle, so we gotta make some plays, we gotta make some hard predictions, because otherwise we're just end up losing. And we actually trapped this Karmory in, that was a really good, cool play on our part. Yeah, the best play we did. <laughs> so he was forced to to get Skarmory back into the Pokeball and quarters only, we should have picked the KO on quarters only when we could because yeah. now it's Death Fodder and Thunderous just switch in for like no reason at yeah, all. Yeah, now Ambipon comes in because it outspeeds. So he has the hazard control, he has Ambipon pretty healthy al although we have our Stealth Rocks. So he's in, in pretty good, pretty decent spot now. So we go to our Constantine, we sack it off as he did it to his Rotom. We yeah. got this idea from you, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Then Glasker goes down, he knocks off, but he fails. And here we have the opportunity to go into Sabrina to revenge kill. And here we're thinking, should we put the double again? Because uh, he might just go into Skarmory, but he might not because we pulled that last play. And yeah, he does the predictable play, goes into Skarmory. And we just click superpower. Yeah, because it would kill and Brave Bird would do so, so little to Clockwork. We had to lock ourselves into Super Power. So we if we had the Heat Wave, oh. Yeah, that, that could could be a, a misprep on our part. And we go for Super Power again, praising for a creator for the highest of the high rows, and yeah, we but don't get it. So Skarmory leaves at a sliver of health and. Gets to roost, roost at our face with one. One health point. Like, what is this? What didn't? Why didn't you die? Yeah, you're so doing too much, Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina struggled to leave the hit, but actually, yeah, like three attack fails. Like, come on, stop, Sabrina. Because then we could just have a clean switch into Thunderous and yeah, and Thunderous the probably out. would have picked up the KO on this if he didn't want to second another thing off. 
because at this point he had ambipon, he had clockwork, and I think that's it. No, I think he has rosary. Yeah, he has rosary. That's true. He so has he, rosary he pulls the, the switch here, and unfortunately, we didn't bring thunder. He goes into the the rosary. So our team prep kind of beat us in the ass in this game. So we're forced to go into vote switch here. Yeah, unfortunately, like so there, there's Rose, nothing we have. Thunder Rose is also that fodder. We have sort of a win condition in the back. It was our game plan all along, which is Metagross with the rock polish. You guys know that if you watch the team prep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so there is an opportunity, but at the same time, I don't think Metagross can actually break through the Skarmory. Yeah, true. We like, I mean, if we had all the boosts from Meteor Mash, maybe. Yeah, but we didn't bring enough counters to Skarmory, and that ended up being our doom. Here we set up the Rock Polish. He missed his Leap Powder, but it really didn't matter because we were Lumberry. So even if it connected, Metagross would have woken up, set up the Rock Polish. And this Meteor Mesh is a clean kill on Megusta, which is pretty nice. I mean, Metagross yeah, got one to put, out. <laughs> yeah, Metagross got to put some work in. I mean, it was a really cool set w when we were developing. He was like 100 EVs in speed, which is exactly what he needs to outspeed Ambipon after a Rock Polish. So we thought we had a good team prep going, but we overlooked Skarmory and... Yeah, and Skarmory is just bulk as fuck. Yeah, and he's with a the Rocky Helmet, we're winding us into the spikes and rocks. Like, he has the match on, on his hands. Mm. We have to stay in with our Desiree here, but... He's kind of forced to switch his Skarmory out here, because he knows he can't afford to let... to be skarmory less mm. when Metagross hits the field. So he goes into second off his Altario, which is... Yeah, it's I mean, it's what he has to do. In order yeah, to win this game. Altaria, if if it has like EQ or flame tour, it can do some work, but if it doesn't have this, like what can it do to Metagirl? So I mean it was the right play, I think. Yeah, and here Desiree is pretty speedy. We invested her in speed like some pretty solid EVs. And we outspeed the Altaria. Moonblast is more than enough to pick up the kill. So yeah, we got Gardevoir putting in the work. At least this squad wasn't wrecked. I mean they they put up a good fight. It, it 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 was the coach's blame. I mean, we should <laughs> True. coaches to blame. We should have team prep better. We should not have overlooked a few threats. So we could have taken this Zambipon out, but still, I think Metagross would not be able to to break through the Skarmory with the roofs and the Rocky Helmet. This crit might have mattered. I don't know, cause. You see how slowly the hit points went down? Yeah, and we had the AV, so... Yeah, but that was the game, guys. I mean, we did our best, but I don't think we prepped enough, maybe. I think we, if we had... Uh, I don't know, maybe like knockoff on Glyscore, so he wouldn't be as utility, or maybe brought uh, Defog on him, maybe yeah, bringing maybe. Defog on Hunchcrow. I think we should not have choice the Hunch Crow. Maybe we had the Rock Polish plan for for Ambipon. So I mean, we could have given uh, Hunch Crow some other job like Pursuit Trapping or being mixed with Heat Wave. Yeah. Uh, so he protected his Karmory pretty well. That granted him the win. He outplayed us. So yeah, and the Ambipon. The Ambipon was pretty win con. He had to make that leap, and he did that pretty well. Like he played very very well this game. And next week we're facing Shell Shock, the coach of the Mucha Lucha Hauluchas, and that's a pretty exciting match because if we win, we actually jump to first place in our conference. So that means no round one of playoffs for us, and it means that we actually are on round two, which is pretty exciting. We will have uh, a week to chill or maybe team prep more. So that's a win that we're really, really, really trying to snag. But aside from that, guys, uh, we'll see you guys next week with our team prep for Shell Shock. So see you guys there. Bye!